Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will explain a stack widget that has a great role for creating attractive and modern kind of UIs. And at the end, I will share a code for creating this UI using the stack widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. Stack is the multi-child widget that places the widgets on the top of each other. We mostly use a stack for creating overlapping of widgets. Let me talk about some real life example of stack using this beautiful UI. You can observe here we have a, the image having a burger and at the bottom we have a container with some gradient having the black shade and inside this container we have some text, the buttons and some list of circle avatars. At the top side you can see again we have these star ratings and all these things and at this corner we have these heart shape here. So you can observe here there is a overlapping of widgets that has happened over this image and for creating such a kind of UIs we need to use a stack. Same is the case here you can see here there is some overlapping of this price, the heart symbol, some text and some buttons here. Moreover if you observe uh, at this particular image here you can see here for this particular image uh, we have this rating and we have this heart symbol. The observable thing here is both this rating and heart symbol they have overlapped on this image and half of the portion is out of the image. So for creating this kind of UIs also we, think, uh, we can simply use the stack widget. Now it's time for practical. Stack has property for children that requires list of widgets that has to be placed on the stack. Each widget that we place here will act as the layers for the stack. Stack basically has two kinds of widgets positioned and the non-positioned widget. Basically the widget that we wrap inside the positioned widget will act as the position widget and all the remaining widgets will act as the non-position widget. We mostly use image, align and the position widget as the descendant child of the stack. We have already created a video for image, align and the position widget. Go ahead and watch that one. Link is also there in the description. Let me add three different containers inside the stack. The first one is orange container with the width and height of 300 pixel. Second, we have a green container with the width and height of 200 pixel. And the last container is the red one having the width and height of 100 pixel. Stack places its children in the order the first child at the bottom of stack. That is the reason you can observe here. The first child that is this orange container is at the bottom of stack. And on the top of that we have the green container. And on the top of this green container, we have the right container. So the sequence of placing widgets on the stack is very important. Let me explain how I'm saying it's important. For an example, if I cut this right container from here, and if I place this small right container after this uh, orange container, so let's see what happens. You can observe now this right container has got disappeared. This is because this right container is behind this green container. So we can observe here as I have changed the sequence that is the uh, order of, of adding the widgets on the stack. So this is going to hamper my UI a lot. So make sure whenever we add a widgets on the stack, so it's very important to decide the sequence of widgets based on the UI that you are going to create. Stack has a property called alignment using which we can control the alignment of non-position widget. You will understand why I'm saying only the alignment of non-position widget. We simply have stack wrapped inside a container with a width of double infinity and height 500 pixel. The color of this container is the orange with the shade of 200 we can see here. This container basically has got the position widget containing a container with the red color you can see here and I have some left and some bottom value for that one. Then the stack has got two containers and these are the non-position widget because they are not wrapped inside the position. The first one is green and another one is the small view container. Now we can observe here, we have the alignment value here. The default value for alignment is top left and let me change it to say center. So we can observe now the grid, uh, sorry, the green and the blue box is now placed at the center of the stack. The observable thing is only the green and blue box has changed its alignment but not the red box because the red one is placed inside the position. So make sure using alignment we can only align the non-position widget but all the position widget will stick to its a specific position that you have specified using the left, top, bottom and whatever values that you have used. Values for alignment property can be passed by using the nine different constants available inside this alignment class. We can also pass the instance of alignment by using the specific coordinates here. 
but before passing that one make sure that you should understand how this alignment is adjusting its coordinate system for, for passing the values and if you really want to learn how it works so i have already explained uh, the alignment object in the video called alignment widget so make sure you should watch that one we can also pass the value for alignment by using the object of fractional offset which is basically similar to the alignment but it has a different way of organizing its coordinate system and which is actually starting from the top left corner so i have already explained that uh, fractional offset in the alignment widget uh, video using position widget we can place a widget on the stack at a specific position we can make that widget to place inside the stack as well as outside the stack let's understand how we can place that one outside the stack inside the stack we simply have a container the width and height of 300 pixel have some green shade here then we have a position widget having the value of left and bottom means for the left we have minus 20 and for bottom minus 30 here left minus 20 means i just want to place this position widget outside the stack at the uh, 20 pixel from the left side and at the bottom side i want to place it 30 pixel below the stack so for that uh, reason i have made these specific values but you can see here this box is not getting visible out of the stack this is because we have to use a property called clip behavior so let me use property called clip behavior and for this we have to pass a value say clip dot none so that there won't be any clipping so when i save here you can observe now this particular green box is looking like the outside stack so this secret or this specific magic is used in most of the uis to have some modern and attractive kind of look feed property of stack determines the size of non-position widget the default value for this feed is a stack feed dot loose you can observe here as it is a loose so all these widgets can enjoy its own size whatever we have specified here so that is the reason this red box is having the width and height of 200 pixel and the green box is having the width and height of 100 pixel but if i change this one to say a uh, stack feed toss expand so that is going to expand each and every non-position widget of the stack and you can see here this green box and the red box they both have expanded to get the maximum size available for its parent one thing that you might have noticed here only the red and the green box they have expanded and not this orange box this is because the orange box is actually the position widget so you must take it that the feed property can only control the size of non-position widget but not the positioned widget stack has property called text direction that lets you to control the direction from left to right or right to left which is quite handy while working with multiple languages the default value of this is text direction dot ltr that is left to right so if i change this to say rtl so this is going to move this text and the specific content of the stack at the right side so that uh, all the things that will get now align or say directed from the right to left direction now let me explain step by step how we can create this specific ui using the stack widget let's use a size box with the width infinity and the height 280 pixel that contains a stack and for the stack we have the clip dot none so that everything that is get clipped outside the stack will be visible for this children of the stack let's use the image now let's place a container having the black shade at the bottom side of the stack wrapped inside the align widget let's place a column as a child of this container you can observe here i have made the main axis size as the minimum for this column so that it should get the minimum size as possible and i have made this cross axis to start so that this text should appear at the uh, start with respect to cross axis this column has got two different texts the first one is the bold text and the another one is the text having the uh, small size that determines the proportion of this particular image and in between this text i simply have used the size box to have some gap now let's place the position widget after this align widget and this particular position widget has got the circle avatar which has got this icon that shows the heart symbol here using this icon dot favorite i have made color of this icon as a white and it is having the background of the black color for the circle avatar and to make that particular thing out of this tag i have used say bottom value was minus 24 pixel and from right side i have used the same alignment that we have for the text that is the 16 pixel here so this is how we can simply use the align widget position widget and all these things to make this kind of ui simply by using this tag widget that's it for this video see you guys in the next video
If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.